Here we are with an APS camera, film no longer available. Four bucks. Another failed thing of Kodak's. Well, it was successful over a while till they dumped it. Now we got a thing with flashlight. Oh, this is a really crappy camera that was involved in a lot of scams. Like, oh, get this camera. It's an SLR. Well, no, it isn't. And it's plastic. It's wet. It's like a horrible thing. That's selling it for four dollars. Oh, a selfie stick with the remote button. Yes. CDs, ink. If you happen to have that high resolution ink, not just regular ink. Oh, that's a big clothespin. VR, visual reality headsets. You always find tons of those at Goodwill. There must be one of those items that people buy and they use once and out it goes. 3D is problematic. A lot of people, the same thing happened in the 1950s when they had stereo cameras were a big thing. I love to cook with wine and sometimes I put it in the food. Uh, it just gave people headaches, the, not the wine. Well, the wine did too, but the stereo photograph. Some people just couldn't do it. And so it never really caught on. Uh, they've come up with some 3D TVs. Again, never caught on. Some people just, it disturbs their brain. It hurts. Oh, there's a tripod there. That's pretty good. I've got enough tripods for an army, but this one's nice because it has a handle, so it's easier to carry. Targus, and it has the top plate. It's just a big deal. See it there, the top plate with the screw in it. That means you can actually put a camera on it. A lot of the tripods you see for sale are useless but they, because they don't have that top plate. And, and really expecting to find that top plate, you know. Uh, yeah, they sell some top plates, but it's like, they're like $15. And what if you buy the tripod and it just, that's the one they don't carry anymore. Oh, here's some of these little things you open up and they get keyboards in them. But, uh the connection in here I'm not familiar with, so I assume uh, that it's a uh, maybe it's an Apple product. I don't know, but yeah, see those. You've got like this five little gold contacts there, hmm. and there's all kinds of stuff. And there's a oh this I thought this was one, but this is a. Uh, Something to put your laptop on, you plug it in, it cools it. It has some fans inside of it. Oh, here's the uh, pots and pans. Uh, here's a waffle bowl maker. <laughs> That's interesting. Ten bucks. Oh, yeah, ten bucks. I take another picture of it here with it kind of more on the thing, and you can see it there. Let's put this back. There we go. Kind of an interesting concept. You won't have to do dishes. You'll eat the bowl when you get done. And, uh, oh, there's a little grill to do panini bread sandwiches, I guess. Um, and actually... I haven't got the camera going, but I see an electric knife behind the counter. They have some items behind the counter that I don't know what they put that behind and things maybe think they think are going to be stolen or things. I don't know. But anyway, the, oh, got to look at some books. The uh, electric knife I got was only $4 and it was behind the counter. I asked for it and uh, I'll show you something I have in the car. Uh, for testing purposes. Pink is on sale today, this week. Annual recipes, evidently they do one of those huge books every year. I've got more cookbooks than I'll ever use. I need to find some good cereal bowls. We've had some, I don't know, some material ones, cheap ones we bought recently, and it's like they absorb grease. So if you've got them in the in the sink with other things that are greasy it's like you just can't get these things clean so out they got you chucked them and uh, now i've got to replace them 
Here's, uh, oh, see that white box? I went by it real quick. <laughs> there it is again, right by it again. There, oh. <laughs> and I see this other HP2 thing I'm going to ask about and see what that is. If you're a yard sailor, you just definitely want something like this. Now, there are bigger ones, which I have, but it's nice to have something small, too, or small items. You don't have to drag out a big thing and hitch it all up. I met someone at a yard sale, and he showed me he had installed an inverter right in his car, because he, he, and primarily because he yard sailed a lot. So he could take any item, carry it to his car, plug it in, and see if it worked or not. Because... You never know when you buy things that are electrical from places. I kind of gave up doing it for a while because so many of the things just didn't work. You got them home and it's like, you know, it's like buyer beware and you get home and it doesn't work and it's not like you can go to the guy's house the next day and knock on his door while he's at work and try to get your money back or something. So, and you spend so little too. It's just nice to have some kind of uh, power converter.